All right, and welcome back to uh, Honker Shop Works, and uh, today we're going to be discussing some uh, hand tool safety. It's going to be the first uh, first portion, and kind of work our way up to different uh, equipment, uh, varying from the wood shop as well as uh, metal shop uh, uh, items that we'll be using, and uh, just uh, some brief pointers when it comes to the different hand tools. And the first few things that we're going to uh, um, be discussing uh, when it comes to hand tools and any kind of aspect that we're going to be working into the shop. Um, safety glasses are a must. Safety glasses are on at all times when you're working in the shop. And when it comes to these different hand tools, they have specific duties. And these duties are meant for their own specific purpose. They're not meant for any other type of uh, any other type of use. Like our differences between the cold chisel to the screwdriver. When we're using a screwdriver to start with, we're specifically meant for driving screws. The reason I point that out is because uh, whenever we're looking to do any kind of uh, prying or any chiseling, and you know, there's a screwdriver nearby, we must, you know, we might just take that screwdriver and the hammer and do a little tap and work loose. Any kind of item that we're looking to have uh, do a quick chiseling job. Well. Not only is that doing damage to our uh, screwdriver you know, and, and eliminating the exact purpose, but you're also defeating the, uh, damaging the screwdriver to a point where it may not be able to have that specific purpose that it's meant to actually drive screws. And I know it's very tempting with these slotted screwdrivers that we want to do a, uh, a chiseling job, but we must avoid that at all costs. Moving on to our next topic, Specifically, these chisels. Of course, these cold chisels uh, we may use for uh, chipping off any kind of spatter with a weld that we've made, or possibly cleaning up any kind of metal, uh, such as a plasma cut, uh, when we're working off any kind of slag uh, from, from any kind of cut. Uh, but all in all, a few things I gotta point out. Um, when it comes to uh, uh, these chisels, one aspect is gonna be over time, you're going to be working what's, uh, where, what's gonna look like a mushroom top. If you were to look at this cold chisel, you can see that the hammer is working it down to a point that's starting to kind of curve at the very end. That's that mushroom top, top I was just talking about. Well, if you continually use that chisel, that mushroom top is gonna to break apart, uh, becoming shrapnel. That's where that safety the safety glasses portion becomes very important. Now we can avoid that and it's an easy fix by just taking this chisel and just running it through a grinder to smooth out that mushroom top edge. What we're looking for with a chisel, it's a nice flat top, something that's gonna be uh, good for taking a good uh, hammering in order to uh, work away any kind of uh, blemishes to our metal in order to uh, create a nice flat surface and get a great use out of this chisel. Then finally, uh, the last tool that we're going to be talking about with the uh, different hand tools is going to be our hammer. Of course, when we're talking about the uh, uh, not using the uh, screwdriver for, uh, for chiseling and using a chisel, uh, uh, proper use of a chisel, there's always going to be that hammer that's involved. A uh, few things I want to point out when it comes to the hammer and some safety points uh, to mention is check the condition of the different tools. That goes for every tool. Check the condition, make sure it's not damaged. And all, all more importantly, if you do happen to come across a uh, hand tool or power tool or any kind of equipment in the, uh, in the wood shop or metal shop, report to the instructor. Don't just set it aside and risk someone else, some other student using uh, any kind of defective or broken tool. In the hammer, we wanna to check to make sure that our handle is in good condition. No cracks, no splits, no way of it uh, breaking apart when we're actually using this hammer. And of course, check the head. If it's going to be loose, if you can be able to shake it and rattle it, set it aside, report it to the instructor so that way you can get fixed immediately. Uh, we don't want to risk using this hammer, slinging it back and having that head come loose, striking a neighbor. Uh, we want to make sure that all tools are in functional and uh, good condition, especially an item such as our hammer. One last item I wanted to mention before I forget is going to be 
device just so that way you can be able to see uh, see exactly uh, what kind of vice that we're going to be talking about any kind of variety of different vices we're talking about machine vice in particular uh, when it comes to machine vice we're tightening by hand we're not going to be using any kind of wrench we're not going to try really working down a good tight grip by having a little assistance from our hammer do not ha hammer on the handle for two reasons breaking either the handle or or by over tightening this vise and breaking this bolt mechanism there's a bolt mechanism that allows it to really screw in and tighten that vise on a project that we're working on well that bolt can eventually break over time with huge amounts of stress a vise is properly used by hand and it can have enough of a tight grip on a project which is all you're going to need with your hand so do not use a wrench do not use a hammer when you're tightening your vise and that concludes our hand tool safety